So we're going to look at some of these metric units. So meter is the unit, the base unit we use for length. And here's the table showing the relationship between the different varieties of meters, where we're taking a prefix and putting it in front of meter. So here's a meter. A meter equals one meter, right? A kilometer, kilo means a thousand. A kilometer is a thousand meters. A thousand is the same as ten to the three. Ten to the three meters. So here we're writing the numerical equivalent and here we're writing the symbol. K, lowercase k, is just an abbreviation for 1,000. Let's look at centimeter. Centimeter, lowercase c, lowercase m. Centi means 1 one hundredth, or 10 to the minus 2. A centimeter is 10 to the minus 2 meters. Milli means 10 to the minus 3. A millimeter is 10 to the minus 3 meters. So we learn what these prefixes mean and then we just write the prefix and everybody in theory understands what we mean because millimeter, oh that's a thousandth, a thousandth of a meter, 10 to the minus 3 meters. And so instead of having to remember all these crazy numbers in the English system, 12 inches in a foot, 3 feet in a yard, uh, I can never remember the, I think it's 1,860 yards in a mile. It's 5,280 feet in a mile. I can't remember the yard one. All these random numbers we're supposed to remember. Metric system, all powers of 10. You learn the prefixes, they work for all the units. Okay, it's a good, it's a good, good thing. Um, we'll have to pick this up later.